Hey. Huh? You're Dreg, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's me. Oh, dude. I love your satire. You make such a great point by showing that all the different extremes are stupid in their own way. Yeah, that's, uh... <laughs> that's not what I'm doing at all. It's like, hello, do you even realize you're believing these crazy ideologies? You're doing good work, de radicalizing people. Yeah, well, I'm glad that you think that because it saves me a lot of grief. You, uh, you're fundamentally misunderstanding what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I cannot believe that some people don't understand what you're trying to do. It's like, hello, have you ever seen satire before? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're not actually watching satire. Uh, traditional satire typically employs irony as the main literary device it uses, but uh, I'm not really interested in traditional satire, so I use post-irony and meta-irony instead, making it not traditional satire, uh, but more something like post-satire or meta-satire. Post-satire, you know, I'm using like post-irony instead of regular irony, so the things that it sounds like I'm saying satirically, I actually mean. Sorry, I don't really, I'm not really picking up what you're saying here. Yeah, I just happen to make content that appeals to you and only you. <laughs> Wow! What a coincidence! <laughs> yeah, I know. I bet you get a bunch of crazy people following you. Yeah, you bet. It's like, are they even really listening to what you're saying? <laughs> I mean, every word. I package the idea as satire so that I'm allowed to stay on a big tech platform and sell products. The status quo resists change of any kind. So by building a broad coalition of everybody that actually wants to see some kind of change, you can maybe effectively make some I of that change. I always had you pegged as my guy. I could look you in the eye and explain word for word every single thing that I believe, and you would still walk away from the conversation thinking that I was exactly whatever you need me to be in order for you to enjoy my content unquestioningly. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, I'm just doing a funny sort of irony. A funny sort of Jonathan Swift style satire because that's the kind of thing the world needs more of. It's not just a ploy to get integrations on this channel. I love the status quo. And now a word from our sponsor. A social rating system is a lot like a credit rating system, which, as a centrist, I have no problem with. But a social rating system goes a little too far by monitoring every single thing you do. Spooky social rating systems are being implemented everywhere. Even influencers like me might be in danger. <gasps> huh. I never would have become a centrist if I thought a political issue would have affected me. If somebody hacks into my account and says the wrong thing, then that could be used against me, even if I had nothing to do with Such it. Such automated systems might track everything you do, and it won't be long before you're at risk as well. For example, I try compromising with the mask people and the anti-mask people by wearing my mask half off. If I lived in a spooky authoritarian government, then stuff like this might be used against me to lower my social credit score. Now sure, I am going to let Elon Musk drill a hole in my skull and monitor me, but this is much worse. Kaspersky has launched a project aimed at raising awareness about social ratings and aiming to keep your private information private. You can limit how much organizations can find out about you. Check out the link in the description below to learn more about the phenomenon of social ratings and keep your private information safe. All right, Elon, I'm ready for the hole in my head. Install the Neuralink.